Hey, it's Prince of Queens. And I'll be honest, I'm super bummed out today because last night I received my second community guideline strike on YouTube. I know it will sound like a super big cliche to say so, but I really didn't ever think that I'd be in the situation where I am seemingly being targeted with censorship for my videos, as they are fairly tame compared to most people who make similar types of content. So if it can happen to me, it really can happen to anybody. The first video that was flagged was called I'm coming out as retarded, and was made not so much as a joke on National Coming Out Day, but more importantly, I discussed whether or not people should be allowed to use the word retarded as a negative without it being considered quote-unquote hate speech. And ironically, that video was flagged and removed as hate speech, disabling my live streaming for three months. That was about a month ago, and that video had been about a year old anyhow. Since then, I have been fairly careful not to say anything that could even vaguely be considered hate speech, which I honestly already did anyway. I don't call people fat, ugly cunts or anything, which people do all the time on YouTube and don't get flagged. I barely even swear, and certainly don't use the N-word or anything like that, unless I use the F-word, but... I've never been flagged for that, for some reason. Um, the video that got tagged was called, I'm a feminist, bro. Blair White was attacked IRL. And it's about male feminists and their bad behavior, as Blair was attacked by a man wearing a pink pussy hat. I've watched it three times since it was flagged, and I really can't come up with any reason that it could possibly be construed as hate speech, so I really hope the appeal works and that this gets overturned. My last appeal didn't work regarding the video about coming out as retarded, and while that bugged me, I could at least see why they would deem that as offensive, as it could totally be construed as a mockery of National Coming Out Day. I get it, even though I don't agree with it. However, with this one, I cited very specific examples of male feminists doing bad things, several examples, in particular violence and sexual misconduct, in order to illustrate my point. And that was really about it. I mentioned that female feminists have manipulated countless straight men into believing that anybody who is opposed to feminism is a threat to women, but that is simply objectively true. You can take a look at the video if you want, as it is uploaded on Vidme. Keep in mind that I tried to upload it onto my secondary live stream channel, but YouTube wouldn't let me citing that it violated some sort of copyright violation, so YouTube really doesn't want you to see this video. Honestly, the only sense I can make of this was that I was making a particularly strong argument against feminism, citing specific examples of violence coming from feminists, in particular male feminists. The video was getting lots of views, and therefore somebody or other decided that they needed to stop people from seeing it. It was probably an organized mass flagging by the fans of somebody who hates me. But, of course, I really don't know at the moment, and I am waiting on the appeal, while not being able to upload to my main channel for the next two weeks. I will probably upload a few videos to my secondary channel, Prince of Queens live streams, if you want to subscribe to me over there, and I would be super appreciative if you could spread the word about this to anybody you think might be interested. Thanks for your time, and thanks to my friends for hosting this clip to help raise awareness for this. Video sharing and live streaming is honestly the majority of my life and a good portion of my income. I would be rather bummed out if that was taken away from me entirely.